Let's welcome the voice of a thousand flights, Inka Magnaya. Hi. Thanks for joining of me. Of course. Thanks for having at the me. Show. Thank But you. Our, um, I'm a bit intimidated. I have to admit, diba? <laughs> Do I have to modulate my voice properly, <laughs> diba? Try natin sa isang segment. <laughs> Oh, I, at, at least I have a glimpse. Now you don't normally talk with a modulated voice when you converse. You're not good. Good morning. I know, no, no, no. no. <laughs> din pala. Ay, it's yeah. so funny that you mentioned that yeah. because, like, I've done lives where I'm just talking like this one yeah, normally oh, lang, yeah. and then people are like, "Use your real voice." I'm like, "This is my real voice. You would know if my voice is modulated. This is not the one. <laughs> This is my modulated voice." <laughs> oh, like for example, for me right now, we're trying to do like um. Um, VO recordings ah, for, yes. for the cookie and all that. And I always mess up. I always sound like lethargic. I always sound like mm, parang, yeah, yeah. Um, my tones off or mm -mm. my voice breaks and all that. And so, you think that parang may energy, but when you listen to it, ay, oh, wala, 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 yeah. diba? So what, what, is, is that normal when you're starting? Ma? It's normal when you aren't trained, yes. Mm. Um, it comes with muscle memory. Because your vocal cords and your diaphragm are the muscles that you use for voiceover. I have a lot of diaphragm. Oh, perfect. It, yeah. Ayan. It will, you will have a big, <laughs> booming voice. <laughs> yeah. Pero how did you get started? I started when I was five. Oh. Yeah, because both of my parents are voiceovers. Okay. So we actually had a recording studio oh. that my parents opened up when my mom was pregnant with me. Oh. And it, it was called Ad Farm Productions. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used to do the audio post production for commercials, TV, and radio, mm -hmm. um, anything that. Back in the time when everybody was doing radio, right? everybody was, there was no social media. It was just Wala, like pa, oh, radio and all that. This is 1989. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. ano they, were, they were doing the sound for. Mm -hmm. Uh, radio commercials mm -hmm. and TV commercials because mm -hmm. after they shoot mm -hmm. but they don't use that sound yeah. from the from the taping yeah. they go and clean it up by yeah. the studio so our studio was that and then um, it was one of those days where I kailangan natin ng ano, voice talent na kid oh. for the for the role and then they're like you <laughs> <laughs> Ako parang, uh. <laughs> I don't remember uh. of course I was five but uh. Ever since then, I started. So your training started really young. Yes. I, I, I might be aging myself, but I really had I really thought that I'd be doing voiceover when I was young. Because I, like we'd still have that cassette recorders, mm -hmm. and what what I would do, I would like record my voice, and ah. I'd be like reading stuff. But I never really took it seriously. Right. Never right. really thought of it as a career. Because elementary, I was still you know like in grade school back then. High school, wala na, doing a lot of stuff. But no, I have to do it. And parang, oh my God, I think mm. I missed the chance to to really train. Not really, because it's mm. something that you can train uh, at any age. At any you age. can start at any time. Yeah. Um, so, may pag <laughs> uh, Well, for you, it was, it's just like second nature because I've seen I've seen your videos with your family. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. And welcome to Philippine Airlines. And welcome to Philippine Airlines. Everybody's doing like amazing, like mm -hmm. voiceover. Yeah, even my, your brother, yeah, your aunt, my sister. your sister. Yeah. Yeah. So we're all. But you don't talk like that at home. You don't sound like TV commercials. <laughs> well, maybe for other people, I, we don't think so. But I've I've seen other people that 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 I've been like hanging out with and stuff like that, and then they're like, "Oh, para ka yung podcast." <laughs> but we're like. Oh, Okay, cool. But my question is, Diva, a lot of people think it's just about the voice, the diction, the modulation. Mm -hmm. Do you also like read a lot? Because what's yes. a voice without having anything to talk about or anything to say? Yes. Well, if you're a voiceover, you mm. read other people's scripts. Scripts, yeah. So um, that's no problem. Mm. But reading mm. does help you practice. Yeah. Because I. Uh, like with a skill yeah. for example you cook yeah. um you always cook to to enhance yeah. your skills like you believe with the 10,000 are for sure yeah. never or like the learning never stops the you just keep stops. going and going and going mm -hmm. like um 
people in symphony orchestras mm. never stop mm. practicing their instruments. Mm -hmm. It's the same for for voiceovers, athletes also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I I think that if you do like a uh, voice recording in a studio, mm -mm. Well, in my mind, it's easier because you can play back and yeah. do it again. But I've seen your videos doing voiceovers for introductions for pageants for events, and, for oh, events yeah. and all that. Live that requires that requires a lot of nerves. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Live voiceover is a different animal. Because yeah. bawal katalang magkamale. Yeah. Like if you're a host, yeah. you're hosting a program, yeah. ganito, or like an event, ganyan, yeah. you can stumble on a word and then just pick up from where yeah. you left off. Because yeah. people can see that you're a human being, yeah. and they're like, okay, whatever. Yeah. It's normal to, yeah. to uh, for humans to have a, a normal human cadence yeah. when you speak. Yeah. But if you're a live voiceover, yeah. you're supposed to sound recorded. Sound perfect. Uh oh, because imagine mag mag ano ka ng event, oh. mag attend ka ng event, tapos um, magkakamali yung VO. Oh. Ano notice mo yun, eh, oh, de ba? Yeah, parang yeah. ano dahil? Kaya rin mas excited, di ba? Parang ano yun? Uh oh, parang ay, it it breaks the yeah. the parang you're you're trying to build yeah, a suspension yes, of disbelief. Of disbelief diba? Yeah, so parang so, ganon. Yeah. So How like, do you prepare for that? How do you parang calm your nerves and I think the nerves disappear simply because I've been doing it for so long. Yeah, so long. Do you get nervous when you have to cook in front of people? Actually no, not really. There you go. Not really. Yeah. Because yeah. you know your skill. Yeah. You've been doing it for so yeah. long. Yeah. So even if you have to cook for a show, parang yeah. lamon tato eh. You're yeah. doing what you do best. Yeah. So it's the same for, for voiceovers for me. But you've, you've become so popular on like uh, social media doing mm -hmm. not just your mga solo content, you're also doing a lot of, of collabs. But are yeah. there more expectations from you now that you've become like a celebrity that, oh, can you also sing? Can you also dance? Can you also do other stuff? Yes and yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do that for fun. I don't yeah. do it professionally, yeah. you know. But I think there are expectations, and oh. when people see that, for let's say my dancing skills or oh. my singing skills are not up to par with my voiceover skills, yeah. well, that's because I do my voiceovers professionally. That's yeah. something I need to practice. Yeah. I don't sing to get paid. Yeah. I sing to have fun, uh. to relax. I dance to let loose. Yeah. I think there is, um, parang. It adds to your mental health if you do things and don't pressure yourself to be really good at it. Yeah. You know, you can just do things to. You enjoy. can't be good at everything anyway. Yeah, and you don't yeah. have to be. Yeah, you know? and, and I I uh, I heard that you're doing an international project, diba? So parang hindi lang pang Pilipinas, you're doing something <laughs> of a global scale. Can you tell us about yeah. it? Yeah, so I did the the Philippine theatrical release oh. of DC's. Superhero movie, the newest superhero wow. movie, Blue Beetle. I know it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy because I, it's something that I only dreamt about, yeah. like dreamt of doing. Yeah. And now I'm I'm part of a superhero, like canon. I am a part of DC canon. How cool is that? How, how did you get into that project? They messaged me. Really? Yeah. Wow. They said they they, their words are they couldn't think of anyone else to do it but me. Can you do? Can you do a sample of? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Sample, sample, sample. <laughs> sample. <laughs> so the character I play is Kajida. She is yeah. the scarab that gives Jaime Reyes his powers. Yeah. So he, she fuses with him because she's a symbiotic, parang alien technology. Uh -huh. And then she yung magiging suit ni Jaime. Uh -huh. So she says. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. No, no. Do you have to? Ako kasi like uh, there are a lot of like like famous actors who do voiceovers for animation and all these. Yeah, things. like studio but, uh, stuff. Do, do, does it require that same level of acting? Because di ba your voice also, parang carries emotions, mm -hmm. carries feelings, even when you're moving. So when you're doing your voiceover, you're like also acting out. Well, I, I was a robot, so I was like, oh, whatever Steve. you can imagine. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was really just like super focused because yeah. I was dubbing over the original. Because like, uh, the, the thing that I did was for Philippine yeah. theatrical release. Yeah. So I was really hyper focused on like uh, 
nakuha ko ba yung timing? Nakuha yeah. ko ba yung yung tone? Yeah. Um, does it sound like a robot? Yeah. And then towards the end kasi parang the more that they fuse together, yeah. the less like a robot oh. she sounds and the parang the more oh, she develops the more then yung character yeah, and the voice. The more she develops some sort of yeah. like um, personality. Yeah. So if you watch the movie, you notice in the beginning I used a different kind of voice, mm-hmm. very generic, mm-hmm. very robot. Mm-hmm. Then towards the end, may mang may konting ah uh, ah uh, ganon. So oh. there is that nuance, but absolutely you need you need acting and but voice acting. But did you acting. did you record here in the Philippines? Yes. Or? Oh. Yes, it was all done here one day. In one day. Yeah. Amazing job, mm, diba? Thank you, thank you. Parang, <laughs> oh, di ko yata kaya yon, di ba? <laughs> Yeah. It comes with it comes with yeah. uh, well the years of experience definitely yeah. helped. Yeah. yeah. So what's next for you? What what are you up to these days? What else are you well, doing? Well, I just booked a teleserie. Oh. It's called Amazing Senior TV. High. Tika palpa, grabe ka naman, ukag kanyan. Hanggang ngayon palpa ka ko, palpa ka ko beka. Ukag magsalita na ganyan, grabe ka, hindi ka palpak. And it stars. Andrea Brillantes, oh. um, Baron Geisler, yeah. Angel Aquino. It's it's been interesting because now I have to, you know, face act, body act, mm-hmm. and it's something that I'm not used to. Because as a voiceover, so you started shooting already. Yeah, yeah, we started oh. in July. It's already airing. Oh. Uh, every day on ABS CBN. Wow. Yeah. Ibang levels, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's quite it's quite challenging. Though. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is yeah. definitely challenging. The respect I have for like. I've always had respect yeah. for, for film and TV actors. Yeah. But when you actually know what's happening, yeah, the wow, behind the scenes wee. and all that. Grabe. You, you, you've uh, been through a lot already in terms of the training and all that. But were there any challenges? Because like, apparently, what I'm getting is that parang, you were made for this job. But growing up, starting five years old, Mm-mm. you had some of the best teachers and mentors. Probably even if you went to like mascom you wouldn't get this type of guidance or the yeah. support going into a studio yeah. that early if you go kasi to university yeah uh well they don't offer vo courses yeah. and also the the professors there the ones who teach they have to cater to a, to a lot of yeah. people so it's different talaga when you have like you know someone to mentor you my, both of my parents yeah. but were my mentors and not yeah. just them yeah. like their friends in the industry yeah. Um, other people that I met on the, in the studios, you know. Yeah. So. And also a lot of people in the academy are not really pa- practitioners. So parang there's ah, a yeah. different perspective. There's more of the theory rather yes. than the and practicality the and the commercial aspect wherein you have to yeah. deal with clients and, you know, yeah, it's different submit also. deadlines and, yeah. and all that. So were there any challenges at all? For sure, for sure. Sige nga, parang wala naman. <laughs> <laughs> there definitely will always be challenges. Like, for example, because my dad is uh, one of the best voiceovers mm. in the business, mm. I can say that with confidence mm. without bias because yeah. I've so many people mm. that I've met mm. along the way have just been like, your dad's a legend. Yeah. So, it's <laughs> And um, not only that, like, um, he is also one of the premier radio jocks especially from the oh, 80s he yeah. start, actually started like in the 70s yeah. um so he's had a lot of years yeah. to really establish his yeah. reputation yeah. and his skill because he's so good yeah. talaga. and i've had to grow up under yeah. that and being in the same industry as him yeah. i it was often like when i because of course there was a time when i started that i didn't really get it yeah. because you know it these things Talent comes naturally, but the skill yeah. is learned. Yeah. So before I could even, uh, bago ko pa nahasa yung skill ko, mm. um, people would always be like, "Why aren't you getting this? Mm. You're Jerry's daughter. Dapat alam mo na yan." Mm. Ako parang, no, <laughs> you have to give me time, man. It's not innate, you mm. know. So there was a lot of comparison, especially with my mom. Mm. Parang. I sound like my mom, but like, oh. no, you have to, I uh, know, like, like your mom, but like your mom. I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. So, madaming, yeah. you know, it, it still had years of practice and years of making mistakes and years of not getting it. Like, do your parents, like, uh, parang, 
comment or correct you like mm -hmm. when you're having oh it's not it's not pronounced that way or parang or, um, are they very blunt about it are they yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes yes they can be but they do it through humor <laughs> yeah. but um of course very gentle yeah. and they they never insulted me they never embarrassed mm. me and all these things um but they were very uh, they, they take their work very seriously yeah. and they pass that then, on to me. And they also expect the same from you, I guess. Yes. Yeah. yes. And I also know that you love food. Can you? I do. And you cook. I cook, but my boyfriend says he cooks better than me. I might agree. <laughs> but yes, I cook. <laughs> well, what sort of food do you love? I, oh my gosh, what don't I love, I think, yeah. would be the question. Yeah. Because for me, if, if I encounter something that I've not eaten yet, I will try it, yeah. you know. So you're very open-minded. Yes, oh, yes. We should, we should cook together sometime. Okay, game. I'd love, yeah, I'd love oh, to do that. Do that I'd right? love to do that. Yeah. yeah. So let's do a cooking video with Inca and Oinka. Sure! <laughs> 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 need me to do a voiceover now, I'll do it. Ganon. Kahit na may cold ako, my body finds a way. Of course, may mga hate comments sa parang, wag ka na lang mag-ganyan, Inka, di ka magaling. Stick to voiceovers. Uh, yeah. Parang, it's too ganito, ganyan, 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 ganito. Ay, kasi ganito, ganyan, blah, blah, blah. Parang masyadong, mm. ano yung, it's too much. Mm.